Lucretius and Atomic Theory in the Age of Caesar. Lucretius was a poet and philosopher and teacher. He lived in the first half of the first century BC. About 55 BC he published On the Nature of Things, which tries to free mankind from its superstition. Lucretius was an Epicurean philosopher. He was a follower of Epicurus who lived in the third and fourth centuries BC. Epicurus wrote that the gods neither punish nor reward people, so don't be afraid of that. What happens in the world is based on the movements of atoms in empty space. Before Epicurus, Pythagoras had written about atoms in the sixth century BC. So the idea had been around for quite a while when Lucretius was teaching about it. Lucretius was trying to refute superstitions, so he, he taught that there can never be centaurs because that's part man and part animal. There can't be chimeras that are part one animal and part another. These things simply do not exist. But he was not willing to refute all the superstitions of his day. For example, there was a superstition that lions are afraid of chickens because you'd never see the two of them together. Now, of course, if they ever were together, the lion would eat the chicken quick. You would not see the two of them. If I were alive back then, people would have thought lions are afraid of me because you'd never see me with a lion. But Lucretius was not willing to challenge the superstition. Instead, he tried to explain why lions are afraid of chickens. It's because in the chicken's bright colored feathers, there are these hook-shaped atoms. And for us to see the chicken, we're absorbing those hook-shaped atoms in our eyes as rays of light. He kind of had that right, but then here's where he veered off from the truth as we know it. In the lion's eyes are these ring-shaped atoms. The hook. On the hooked atom, in the chicken's plumage, when it flows into the lion's eye, catches on the ring-shaped atom, and this causes the lion great pain, and the lion runs away. The most important part of Lucretius' atomic theory, though, was the teaching about the atom as the smallest building block of nature. Because then, like now, the students kept questioning, what about subatomic particles? Isn't there something smaller than the atom? How can the atom be the smallest building block of nature? What's smaller than that? And Lucretius said, no! Stop it! Do not split the atom. Don't ever try to split the atom. The atom is the cornerstone of our nature. If you would split the atom, that would cause the collapse of everything. Do not ever split the atom.